Welcome to Dog Hugs, your podcast celebration sponsored by Doggy Wanna, dog toys and treats crafted with naturally calming doggy nip, tether tug, pull tug, spin, loving pets, loving pets, that's what we do. Equus, USA human grade natural shampoos, conditioners, flea and tick sprays. With your hosts, Larry and G Dog, that's Geraldine Chata and me, Larry K. On today's show, Pet Industries rising star entrepreneur Scott Reagan. Oh, he's also Geraldine's husband. And fun facts the Cairn Terrier and Toto, too. Big giveaway today, so sit and stay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Kansas edition of Dog Hugs. I'm Gerilyn Chata. Hello, Dorothy. <laughs> this, is, this doesn't look anything like Toto. This is Spider, and I am not the Wizard of Oz or the Scarecrow. I'm Larry Kay. Uh, we are we do a Wizard of Oz theme on today's show. We've got, uh, look at that. What is that, Gerilyn? You today. Actually, when I first found out I was going to be moving back to Kansas, because I had lived here once before for college, my friends bought me this really cute little shot glass that has these adorable little uh, Dorothy shoes, Dor Wizard of Oz-esque shoes, and it says it's all about... It's all about the shoes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so we are going to be talking a little... Uh, Wizard of Oz trivia today, a little Wizard of Oz facts, some facts about the Karen Terrier, and also a few facts about my hubby, uh, Scott Reagan. So what a fun show today. Yeah, really excited. And we're also going to be doing a great giveaway with Doggy Wanna, which also happens to be right over here. This is the company that uh, Gerilyn and Scott run. And uh, this is your chance to get a giveaway. Th are, are those the treats? Yes, they are. These are this awesome is like, items, a too. brand new product from you guys. Yes, this we launched this in April and it is just leaps and bounds uh, selling like off the shelves. Dogs love it. And so they come in these really great little jars. We're gonna be giving away three today. So sign up, jump in our chat, say yes. I want to be a part of the giveaway, and this is going to land on your doorstep. Oh, my gosh. It's really great. Well, we already have one sign up here. Kimberly Smith. Hello, 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 all the way from Kansas and Missouri and California to you, Kimberly, in Arizona. <laughs> great, to, great to see you. Who else would like to sign up for today's uh, giveaway? Well, do this while you... Uh, while you do sign up, while you watch, first of all, how the heck did Scott and Gerilyn meet? You know, everything you wanted to know about them, but we're afraid to ask. Here we go. Well, Scott Reagan, welcome to Dog Hugs. And it's strange welcome you in, you, you in here. Because if it weren't for you, I wonder if Geraldine and I would be doing this thing in the first place. I don't know about that. Well, uh, uh, welcome, Larry and, and uh, Geraldine. Good to see you both. Love the show. <laughs> love where it's been developing, and such great content. And and uh, and it's just a lot of lot of lot of good content. A lot of good energy. Love all the engagement. So thanks for having me on. Well, so you and Gerilyn met at this trade show in Las Vegas, where all good things start, <laughs> at this trade show called Super Zoo. When you met, did you realize that, how many years later now is it? Yeah, so uh, we met in, uh, I guess, the very fall, late fall of uh, 2012, and um yeah, it was a wonderful to meet her. Uh, she, we mutual friends kind of in, introduced us, and uh, then after the show that day, we 
had an opportunity to just kind of sit and have drinks and and talk. And that was a wonderful conversation that lasted hours and hours. And I think we've kind of been inseparable ever since. So uh, very, very, very lucky, very blessed. Did you realize at the time that you were about to run a dog boutique spa training <laughs> hotel out of your home? Yeah, well, within a, within a couple of hours of meeting Gerald, and we talked a lot about uh, things that were really important or passionate for both of us. And we were both obviously at a, a, a pet related event um, and we have kind of different, we've come into the pet industry from different doors, if you will. Yes. Uh, and obviously she's a, a, a fantastic trainer and uh, used to show and, and has done a lot of different things. I came into the pet industry more from a business door, um, but they've been really, really complimentary. And, and, and we kind of understood that there would always be dogs, maybe other pets involved. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I'd have to say, I didn't fully realize the exact number. <laughs> What's the one thing that folks on this show might not know about your wife? <laughs> oh my gosh. And, uh, and you can get embarrassing. <laughs> no, this is like the newlywed game. <laughs> no, she, you know, it's turning uh, into that. <laughs> yeah, right. I was going to say, this is uh, a lot of fun. Um, you know, I think I don't know that everyone pr probably knows because I think when Gerilyn is in front of, of, uh, customers or an audience. Um, she is, I'll just say very professional and yeah. she's, she's passionate, but she's pro professional. But I don't think Gerilyn has ever met uh, a four legged creature that she didn't have some empathy, comp compassion, or a belief that if they weren't in a good place that she couldn't help them get to a better place. So there, there are, there are no, there are no throwaways. She is definitely, uh, I love you. And if I don't love everything about you, we can fix you. You will be better. And and she and she does a great job of it. It's true. It's like the word squirrel for Geraldine is spelled D O G. Right. <laughs> That's so true. So well, as as Gerald and I travel the country for various things, whether it's personal or business, I can tell you that there uh, no dog is allowed to pass us down the street. <laughs> in a restaurant, on the other side of the street. These poor people had no idea, but Gerald goes across the street. <laughs> I gotta take a picture. <laughs> Sometimes I know the people on the other end right. of the beach too. No. That's Sometimes. <laughs> Not, I'm being lighthearted, but uh, she she connects yeah. with, with everything that is four-legged and that's pretty special about her. We'll be right back with more dog hugs. Doggy Wana from the makers of Meow Wana. Dog toys and treats crafted with naturally calming doggy nip. Check us out on TikTok. One of Scotland's earliest working dogs, the Cairn Terrier was named for the Highland rock piles called Cairns, where they would hunt and chase. Fun fact, Cairn Terriers are usually left pawed, which is common in dogs that rely on their noses to do their tasks. Cairns are smart and loyal. They have a weather resistant coat and shed very little. They have starred in movies, novels, and they grace artwork. The Karen Terrier often steals the show and your heart. Tether Tug. This looks like something Spider is going to enjoy. Yes, Spider's gonna enjoy Tether Tug. The most famous Cairn Terrier was the dog the world knows today as Toto from The Wizard of Oz. Toto was a girl, and her off-screen name was Terry, given by her owner, movie dog trainer, Carl Spitz. Terry performed in 23 films, but her only screen credit was as Toto. There is a memorial for Toto at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery 
where the Wizard of Oz's star, Judy Garland, is also buried. Loving Pets Foundation's treats are an ideal reward when working to establish a schedule or when teaching new skills. They're small, soft, bite-sized treats. And all packages come with a free carabiner, which allows you to attach the package to your belt, belt loop, or leash for easy access. At Loving Pets, we make solutions for better pets easier. Loving Pets, it's what we do. One of the smallest terrier breeds, the Yorkshire Terrier, originated in the late 19th century as a companion to working class people in England's Yorkshire region. They developed this intelligent, vivacious, goofy terrier that is still all the rage today. Yorkies require regular grooming and appear to float across the floor as they walk. Yet Yorkshire Terriers are hardy and rugged, confident, outgoing companions who will protect you forever. Your pet suffer from red itchy skin or flea bites and nothing you've tried seems to help? Equus Microtech Shampoo and Spray are the finest and most cost-effective option available. Microtech Shampoo and Spray soothe on contact. Why go to the vet? Help your dog or cat with just one application at a fraction of the cost. Microtech stops scratching, biting, and licking instantly. Microtech smells great, and it's safe for use on puppies or kittens. Available online at EQYSS.com. Microtech Shampoo and Spray. It's guaranteed. And now back to the show. What a treat to do. Hey, buddy. How's the big guy doing there? This is my Toto, who I inherited when I moved back to Kansas. He's actually a Yorkie poo. He's more Yorkie than poo. That's one of the reasons <laughs> why we included Yorkshire Terriers today. However, he's also Scott's dog. So and he, doesn't he look like Toto? Like, don't you think he looks amazing? Like and not a Karen Terrier. And not and not a Karen Terrier. In fact, let's just let's just do a close up here. And he loves me, but he's so mad that I woke him up from his nap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's and emphasizing he, it with a yawn. I think he's fifteen now. He's kind of done. Wow! Wow! Good yeah. on you, buddy. Good on you, buddy. Hey, folks. Uh, Kimberly Smith is going to walk away with this giveaway, <laughs> and that's okay. Yes. Because, uh, Kimberly, maybe you've won all of these already. I mean, have you won the T-shirt? Have you won all of uh, the books yet? <laughs> um, and anyhow, uh, folks, when somebody already wins the uh, giveaway, we sent, we do another giveaway. So you're going to want to get it, get in on a, on this one, folks. Definitely. All right. Well. Um, What's uh, one piece of Toto trivia? I know you know so much, Geraldine, that you'd love to share here. So, uh, well, the first one that always shocks people is that Toto was actually a girl. A lot of people think that they're boys. I mean, even Lassie was a girl, and a lot of people thought Lassie was a boy. I think so, anyway. I mean, I always thought Lassie was Terry, a boy. Terry was a girl. That's right. right. And also how much he was paid. He was paid more than many of the actors were paid. Right, uh, and he was in so many scenes that he had to learn so much and really flawlessly performed his tasks. So, really did. Um, uh, a trivia I'll sh I'll share is there's a scene um, before uh, our heroes are about to storm the castle to go get the witch's broom, and they're hiding behind this rock overlooking the castle. And um, the Winky guards jump down, right, to capture them. But it turns out the good guys win. But anyhow, the, the bad guys jump down on top. One of them actually accidentally stepped on Terry's foot and, and broke it. And Terry was out recuperating in uh, Judy Garland's trainer and her home for a couple of weeks. So they had to shoot around Terry or wow. um, I, I tried to research if they got a stunt double, but they didn't, as far as I can tell. So they just shot around for those wow. uh, couple of weeks. I know, pretty scary stuff. Yeah. It is. And, I, and I actually have a lot of my customers put a bell on their dog's collar while they're young and training them so they don't step on them, because that does happen. Good point. Yeah. All right. so, oh, what a great trivia. 
So, uh, oh, Kimberly says she hasn't won all of the books or the treats yet, Kimberly. You <laughs> will. <laughs> so somebody else has got to get in on this giveaway. All right. So um, now here's uh, a part two of the interview where Scott, well, let's just play it and see what happens. Let's play it. Go. You're going to love How it. the heck did you get into the pet industry? How did this all happen? Yeah, it's uh, uh, overall, it's been, a, it's been a real blessing um, and, and allowed us to come full circle to where our conversation is with, with Gerilyn and our family. Um, you know, I, I early in my career was probably a bit more corporately focused and went and did my MBA at Kellogg and I was uh, uh, in leadership roles with Sprint Telecommunications and then H&R Block and kind of Fortune 100 companies. And, and really enjoyed that type of work. But uh, about 15 years ago, had kind of one of those itches that I needed to scratch, an entrepreneurial itch. And um, so some gentlemen here in Kansas City where we're based, and I went looking for some things. And one of the companies that we looked at um, was two gentlemen who were really creative, had started a company called Three Dog Bakery. Here in Kansas. I know about Three Dog Bakery. The very yeah. first time I visited Kansas City, it was a pilgrimage to visit the <laughs> then brand new right. Negro League Baseball Hall of Fame. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I happened to be walking around and ran into this place called Three Dog Bakery. Yeah. And here it is now. I mean, see? It's wow. a, so it was a lot of fun. We, um, the, the two gentlemen who had started it, uh, were very, very passionate uh, pet parents very, very creative, uh, probably didn't actually enjoy the business part of running a business as much as they did the passion for the parents. And I and I fully appreciate yeah. that. Um, so it was uh, a little bit serendipitous. We kind of helped uh, buy that business from them in a, in a way that was a kind of a win-win for everybody. And um, I went on to kind of have the, the, the honor of leading that team and growing that business. Um, and it was great. And I've, as I've said, maybe in a couple of trade show type of events, I think any time that you can bring your professional skills and some of your personal passions together, and if you're able to in life have those come together where you can make a living doing some of the things that you're maybe hopefully pretty good at and some of the things you truly love and believe in, Wow, you are truly blessed because because a lot of people do one or the other because they can't bring those together. And so for me, uh, the pet industry has been uh, just a fantastic experience of doing some things I love doing and being able to help and give back. And it's it's just been a win. Amen, Scott. I love that combination of expertise and passion. That's where the magic can happen. It is. So, and we had a lot of fun working together at Three Dog Bakery. That was a blast. I mean, I love what we do now, but every company we've worked at together has been an absolute wonderful experience. So I, I, I bet folks would love to hear about what y'all are doing now, because what a ride that has been to see, yeah. to get a second row seat to seeing what you guys are up to has really <laughs> been such a treat and a privilege. Yeah, no, it's been fun. So I was with Three Dog Bakery for many, many years and then um, finally stepped away. Um, in between, uh, a, a, a partner and I started a, a smaller company and we led that for a little while and then transitioned that. And then um, we've had the pleasure, uh, Gerald and I and a couple of other partners to put together uh, Smarter Paw. And Smarter Paw is based in Kansas City. Um, that's kind of the parent name. And we have uh, Meow Wana. Oops, that, how about this side? Wherever we go. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Meow Wana and Doggy Wana. And I would say that the common thread through at least my pet experiences mm -hmm. is, I think, deeply grounded in my personal beliefs about pets. And I think that's why Gerald and I have, we connect on so many levels or, or did when we first met. Whether Three Dog Bakery, which was about crafting all natural human quality treats for dogs. And the second company that we uh, worked together uh, in the pet industry, we were very similarly doing all natural, made in the USA, kind of natural wellness products, both consumables and some shampoos and conditioners. And then as we created uh, this, uh, actually one of our partners had the initial idea for me, I want him. Gerald and I and a couple of folks have kind of wrapped around to make that a, a team effort. But again, everything we're doing is um, I call natural wellness. It's not about so much 
I've, I've had a fundamental belief, both in my family life and my pet life, if you will, that it's not so much what you put in the product, the treat, the food, the shampoo, it's what you don't put into it that makes it great. That's and, and so simplicity and, and naturalness leads to natural wellness. And I think, you know, that that's, I'm speaking a little bit from my heart, but I know Gerilyn um, feels very much the same way. And I think our team does. And so um, that's, we're doing some really neat things with Meow Wana and Doggy Wana to help pets, um, you know, have a lot more playful engagement time on the, on the cat side with wonderful catnip and cat toys and uh, cat treats. And then as we've created Doggy Wana uh, and Gerilyn and I work on that along with our partners, it's a, a similar natural wellness mindset, but kind of helping pets chill, dogs who have maybe uh, stress, anxiety. Um, it's a way in which the pet parents who are passionate about them can be more engaged and playful with a better outcome. And I think that's the, maybe the thread that weaves through all of our experiences. Beautiful. If, if you were to give people who are considering being entrepreneurs or maybe are entrepreneurs, either a piece of advice or a piece of, of wisdom that's been given to you. Uh, we've heard one big nugget already, and that's bringing together passion with expertise. Is there something else that you think <laughs> might be of benefit to folks? Yeah, I, I probably have a tendency to be kind of visual in my pictures or storytelling, and it's and Gerilyn knows well when I'm in our office with our team, it's the same way. Um, I, I, I use a, a like a Rubik's Cube as a metaphor for many things. Good one. It's fairly easy to pick up a Rubik's Cube and get one side. Look, I got the yellow side. Woohoo! Uh, the problem is nothing else came together. And I think uh, I, we, I'm certainly not perfect, have made lots of mistakes. I'm sure you won't be able to count how many more I'll make or our team will make. But I think the common thread that I see for so many entrepreneurs is that they have a passion or an idea, and it's genuinely a creative idea. They're really passionate about it. It's a good idea, but they got the yellow side of that metaphor, that Rubik's Cube. And making this the, the idea turn into a business is getting the red side and the green side and the blue side to also work. And so you know, whatever size business you're going to have, that's up to you or that you desire. But um, the idea, and then there's the marketing and the finance and making it and shipping it. And, uh, and, and I personally believe that the fun and joy of, of turning the Rubik's Cube and getting it all right is putting together a really wonderful team uh, who complements each other and can make all that work. And, and that's what we're trying to work on right now. That's beautiful. So it's finding, if, if you're a yellow, finding the green, the red, the blue, and whatever colors are in that Ru Rubik's Cube. And yeah. I, I think it's more like the eight or nine sided Rubik's Cube, <laughs> not that four sided or a six, six, eight sided, no, six sided, nine, whatever. Side. Okay, the one that has all the extra sides, have you seen that one? And then there's even one that has a one flat line, even though the, all the other ones are kind of octagon shaped. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, so that's uh, more of what the reality of what it, the, that your Rubik's Cube should like look like in business, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scott's laughing too hard. That's why he no, it, it. It, he's laughing. Well, you said what, you know, what, what are you've learned or maybe what are some of the common challenges? And I think so many people have wonderful ideas and uh, are, a lot of it comes from personal passion or their personal experience or seeing that there's a better way to do something. And that doesn't mean it was a bad idea. It just may not be a great business unless you can put all those sides together. First of all, a lot of people do not know that Scott and I tied for first place for the best new product of the year, the year that we won. What? And that they chose Scott's company over my company because they decided to bring in additional judges because of the tie. Oh. So, yeah, I, I, so the night I that I went out to dinner with Scott, sorry, go ahead, Scott. Oh, I thought it, I thought we won just because no, I was handsome. Oh, no, sorry, <laughs> you didn't win straight away for the looks, honey. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> just did. having a little bit of fun today. We did tie. We were three. They were we were within three votes, so they decided it was a tie. Wow. And um, they brought in three uh, people from the publications to be a tiebreaker. 
and they chose Scott's company over mine. So the night that we were out on our first date, I said, wait a minute, what's your affiliation with that company? And he's like, I'm, I'm working with them. And I went, Oh, you're the one that took my first place. <laughs> date was over <laughs> and it gets, but it gets better the reason why he wouldn't let the date be over is right before i found out that it was him obviously we ha he had asked me for the this first date i was walking through super zoo as they were tearing down and as you know when they tear down super zoo it's a frenzy it's a mad yeah. folks this trade show goes up like a city and comes down like a like an earthquake <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> earthquake yeah, I like an earthquake. So I was on my way because I had I was working in one booth and I had my own booth that year. So I was walking through to my other booth to help tear that one down. And I saw some of my friends who had Swiss beer and they had Swiss beer glasses because they were from Switzerland. <laughs> and so they handed me one as I was walking by their booth. And when I walked, I just happened to walk past one of Scott's booths on the way to my booth. And he's like, how did you get that beer? And not only a beer, it's a good beer. And I don't really, I don't drink beer. So I gave it to him. And I think that's why he was like, if she can get uh, that kind of beer at Super <laughs> when we're tearing down, then I want to have a date with this girl because she must be able to conquer the world. <laughs> We've been having fun ever since. Dog hugs will be right back. Carolyn and I truly enjoy getting to know you and your dogs. Your comments bring dog hugs to life. Thank you for making dog hugs so much fun to share. You know, if you have ideas for topics, let us know. Chances are someone else is thinking about that idea or would love to learn what you want to learn. And now we're back with more dog hugs. So Scott, darling, husband, at, at Dog Hugs, we'd love to recognize shelters uh, and give them a shout out. Do you have a specific shelter that you'd love to shout out today? Um, yeah, I think so. There, uh, I think shelters are so incredibly important and, and boy, that has never been more so than during COVID in the past year. And look at the record pet adoptions. And I think that, so they serve such an, an important purpose um, in rehoming and saving and transitioning so many pets. Um, we have a fantastic shelter here in Kansas City, uh, Wayside Waifs. Um, and over the course of my different professional endeavor, endeavors, we've worked with them and donated products and supplies to try to be a small part of helping out with their with their mission over time. And, and we're doing a little bit of that today. So Wayside Waifs in Kansas City, fantastic team. Good choice. I, Gerilyn introduced me as over there and beautiful, beautiful people as well. Absolutely. Scott, this show is wrapped in gratitude. Who in your life or in the world would you love to give a personal shout out to? Oh my. Uh, you know, uh, I'll say uh, professionally, my uh, team and business partners at uh, Smarter Paw and Miawana um, are, are super. We couldn't do it unless we were all doing it together. Uh, and in the same all breath, others of the Rubik's cube. Absolutely. And in the same breath, um, uh, I get the great pleasure of both being a business partner with Gerilyn and she happens to be my wife and our kids. And, uh, so family is my gratitude and my professional team is gratitude. And that all makes the world work really well for me. Amen. Scott, Reagan, Gerilyn, thank you. What a treat. <laughs> thank you so much. Gerilyn, thank you. You both do a, just a fantastic job and, and what a great show. And thanks so much for uh, allowing me to take a few minutes of everybody's time. Appreciate it. Thank you, babe. See you soon. What a treat. Thank you so much for sharing Scott with us, Gerilyn. That was fun. That was really fun. Hey, folks, you've got to get in the giveaway from some doggy wanna. The, the new dog treats right now. Yeah, these are, yeah. Oh, Gerilyn is doing a fantastic job of modeling them. <laughs> and Senna's over here doing a fantastic job of waiting for one because I asked him, okay, and he's doing a fantastic job of that. Would you like one? Yes, I would like one. So hold, please. Let me get some 
Nice. So, uh, folks, we've got a few people who are now in on it, and um, this is your last time to say, yes, I want to be in the giveaway if you're in the USA. So we hope you'll do it. Three jars. You can give wow. one away to a friend, oh, or you can rat, you can pack rat them. It's up to you. Nice. Well, um, how many do we have now in the giveaway? Let's find out. Charlie's going to let us know. And it looks like there are two. Nice. All right. We're go I'm going to count down uh, from five. Last chance. Five, four, three. Last chance. Do you want in? And it's going to be two. All right. All right. Here we go. So the way this works is we're putting balls number one and two into the wheel o -rama. And we're going to give the wheel around a spin here. Yep. Here we go. And while they're tumbling around, um, we had some great comments uh, come in from folks. And hey, you want to come on over here, buddy? There you go. Come on back when it's your turn. So uh, first of all, Look who showed up. Scott Reagan showed up. Thanks so much. That's great. Um, we had some wonderful uh, comments. Um, uh, Alexander says, uh, persistence is a great secret to being successful as an entrepreneur. Bravo. Well, well said, Al Alexandra. And uh, yes, bravo indeed. <laughs> yes. Uh, and... Um, We've got a we've got a love this from Lisa, and um, and uh, and some uh, some highs, and we hope uh, you guys have are in the giveaway next time. All right, we are now going to if I can get Spider off of his tree, we're now going to do a drawing. Let's get him in there because I think it's time to stop. Now, a little bit about these treats. They have a catnip and valerian herb center, which is really nice for calming your pets. We are huge fans. Stop. Stop. Which one are you picking? Here we go. Up here. At a boy spider. Oh, my gosh. It's number one. I think that's Kimberly. Which means we're gonna draw again. Congratulations, Kimberly. Kimberly doesn't get to win the win the this time. Kimberly, you get either a, a t-shirt or yet another book. And the way reason we do that folks is Kimberly is one before. So I'm happy to autograph another book to you. Here so number go. four wins because we only had one and two. So number two, we're gonna yeah, contact number you. Number two. Let's see if you can go find it. Go get it. Go get it, Spider. Bring it. There we go. And indeed, it is number two. And remind me, who is number two, Charlie? Is uh, Lisa Blake. Congratulations, Lisa. Yes. We'll send you three jars of the dog. You want treats. You're going to, your pets are going to love them. And hopefully, you'll share with someone. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. It is yeah. crazy. Um, congratulations! So from, yeah, we got a we got a woohoo from Kimberly. A congratulations from from Lisa. This was before she she knew that she was going to be a winner too. Congratulations to you, Lisa. Um, Lisa. Yeah. Oh, and and now a thank you from Lisa. Fantastic. So um, gratitude. I mean, this is an easy one, right, Larry? I, I think every day I wake up and I'm grateful for Scott. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for the pet industry. I'm grateful for Super Zoo. I, I'm, I don't think I actually met you the first time at Super Zoo, but you and I have hung out a lot at Super Zoo. So I'm so grateful for just everything that's been wrapped around my life. But my hubby has been a big part of it. And I'm, I'm grateful for all the time that we've had together and many years to come. So thank you, dear. Thank you for being here. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. And yes, we'll be able to see each other in person, you know, COVID willing at the, uh, uh, I think it's at the end of August, right, is when Super Zoo is uh, this year. Um, all right. 
So um, that it's been a great show. And Another great show. We are so grateful for you. <laughs>